Vannevar Bush is referenced in the series in regards to his creation of the concept of Memex, which was a conceptual form of electronic storage as noted in his essay, As We May Think. In conjunction with this line of thinking, it was Ted Nelson who coined the term hypertext, a term that still sticks in with today's computing systems as HTML, hypertext markup language, forming the first hypertext project known as Project Xanadu. In fact, Tim Berners-Lee, the man credited as the creator of the World Wide Web, has long since gone on to acknowledge both men as major influences on him and his creation. The Wired in the series, of course, is a stand-in for the World Wide Web, which we all use currently today. John C. Lilly is cited in the series in relation to his work done with dolphins, as well as in relation to his psychedelic experiences, which caused him to allegedly come into contact with an alien entity known as ECCO, or Earth Coincidence Control Office. Lilly is also known for being an innovator of the sensory deprivation or isolation tank. Lilly also had a good understanding of how the map is not the territory, in line with Korzybski's work, never failing to mistake the representation of something with the object in actual reality. This is crucial when we consider the theme of Lane, which bridges the gap between the world of the wired, or web, with the real world, physical reality. In Lane, it is mentioned that individuals can use the Schumann resonance, which are global electromagnetic resonances that the Earth gives off in the ELF, or extremely low frequency band, to connect to Massima Eri's Protocol 7, in order to connect wirelessly to the wired. The character of Eri is noted in the series to have uploaded his own consciousness to the wired, leaving his body behind, becoming a quote-unquote god. Protocol 7 is in reference to Timothy Leary's seventh layer, the neurogenetic circuit, as noted in his hypothesis known as the eight-circuit model of consciousness, which was later expanded upon by Robert Anton Wilson. Though this work is deemed mostly pseudoscience by modern scholars, to Leary, the seventh layer of the neurogenetic circuit is concerned with correlating back ancestral experiences and how they lead to present-day predicaments. The theory is immensely similar to that of the collective unconsciousness posed by Carl Jung, where all of the basic archetypes, instincts, and symbols of mankind reside, representing the psychic life of our ancestors up until the present day, being but a matrix of the psyche of man. The group, known as the Knights of the Eastern Calculus, are based off of the Knights of the Lambda Calculus, who are named after Lambda Calculus, which was invented by Alonzo Church. The Knights of the Lambda Calculus was a semi-fictional group of Lisp and Scheme hackers. In the series, the Knights of the Eastern Calculus are noted as believers that enable Eri to become a god in the Wired. Cyberia, the club that Lane and her friends attend to, is named after the book of the same name, written by Douglas Rushkoff. The book focuses on internet culture as well as the concept of the global brain, which focuses on using technology to unify information from a planetary perspective, interconnecting all humans and their technologies, tying everyone together like a big information processing center, acting as the planet's central nervous system. The Majestic 12, or MJ-12, as referenced in the series, are purported to be a group of influential leaders who are believed to have covered up the Roswell UFO incident, as well as other UFO-related incidents. Though this group is shown to be a hoax in the series, it is included by the creators to highlight the concept that reality itself can come to be influenced by fictional claims through the creation of subcultures, even long after such claims are noted to be fictitious. This is a central theme in Lane, as the world of the wired and the world of the real can no longer be kept separate. The series' theme of hyperreality coming to affect real reality is made evident in Lane's and others' actions as the series progresses. To thinkers like Baldriard, man is living within a hyperreality currently, stacked with so many layers of simulacrum that he has lost all sight of real reality, which is left from disuse as a desert of the real. The hyperreal is defined as our inability to see or separate real reality from the sense of simulation. This causes one to ask what is actually real, and if there is little distinction anymore between fiction and fact, knowing that something that is fake and false can cause something real to be created. For indeed, ideology has much influence over the minds of the masses, who use their psyches to construct a reality called culture. This is otherwise known to thinkers like Vygotsky or Luckman and Berger as a social construction of reality. Finally, Lane's father is seen logging into a website with the password Think Bull Count One Tau, which is in reference to a science fiction story by Cordwander Smith titled Think Blue Count Two which was originally published in Galaxy Magazine in February of 1963. The story deals with virtual persons projected as real ones in people's minds. Similar to how people are projected virtually in Lane through the Wired, and how the Wired's world comes to actually influence the real world later on in the series. 
Lane's father also makes the comment that Madeline's would be good with tea in the last episode, which is a direct reference to Marcel Proust's Swan's Way, the first part of a remembrance of things past, where the character recollects over past experiences thanks to the sensual smell of the tea and the taste of the Madeline he is eating, reminding him of his youth. This is a sense of recollection triggered by external stimuli and known otherwise as Proustian or involuntary memory.